Hello everyone. This video is an overview on how to submit a standard heart observation data request on the CSCDA portal. Once you're logged in into your Copernicus user personal area, you will have the option create in the request drop-down menu. In the following web page, you have to choose the order type between standard and rush. In order to place an order for standard delivery timeliness, select standard request by clicking on the create button. The standard request form is structured in four main sections. The first one is about the requesting CSP. In this section, you have to answer information about the originator of the request. If you belong to more than one project, select from this drop-down menu the one you are requesting the service for. The second section is about the area of interest. In this section, you can define the area of interest for your request by uploading a shape file with this button over here. Alternatively, you can freely draw on the map or insert a bounding box. You can also insert the coordinates for your AOI. You can then rename your area of interest to better represent the standard request and delete it with the little trash can button over here. The third section is about the data type specification, which is divided in the data request and processing data subsections. In the data request subsection, you should select the following order parameters. One, the data delivery timeliness. It is the time needed by the data provider to fulfill the order, and it is measured from the order submission to the data provider for our Cape data request, while for new tasking request, it is measured from sensing start time. The available options are normal for a delivery within five working days, fast 24 hours for delivery within 24 hours. Two, the data type, archive or new, distinguishing between an archive order or a new tasking request. Three, the resolution type, that is, the sensor type, but also the resolution class. Four, the core data set will be generated automatically according to the given parameters. Five, in case you like to specify a request ID, you can do it by typing in the identifier box over here. For instance, you can insert the name of your AOI. In the processing data subsection, you can select one, the processing level from this drop-down menu to the acquisition window using this calendar widget and pressing on the plus button to confirm. For a new tasking data request, you could also split the acquisition window previously defined by selecting one of the following two options, the acquisition frequency, in this case you will see a preview of the number of coverages appearing on the right of the drop-down menu or the number of coverages within your time window. The full list of intervals is displayed after saving. The fourth and last section is for attachments and notes. In this section, you could insert, if needed, optional instructions useful for the processing of your request. Attachments, bands polarization, acquisition viewing angle, or specific resolution constraints. In the notes field, you can type any comment or special instruction to be taken into account during the generation of the corresponding order to the selected contributing mission. Finally, in the summary view section, you can check all the information previously entered in the standard data request form. You can now save the order to submit it or edit it later, or press order and directly submit it. Once ordered, you can view your data request from the Request Browse section over here. Clicking over the eye icon, you can visualize the details of your data request. Please note that once your request is submitted, it is no longer possible to edit it. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.